Hey, what's up? This is a quick tip today with Lightroom Classic. Uh, I want to show you one of my favorite new features that they have added in a very long time. Uh, so let's check it out. All right, so we're in Lightroom Classic. And what I'm going to show you today is the new uh, brush and selection tools. They've totally redone this in the last year. And I just really love everything they've done here. But most notably, the thing I'm going to talk about today is this select subject. So you can use select subject by just clicking that and it automatically makes a mask of where your subject is. So as you can see, Kurt is outlined in red and that shows you everything in red is selected. Um, now what's really cool about this is up in this top right, it shows you your mask even before you've made adjustments. So we have subject one is the selection we just made and that creates mask one. So you know, we could add to this and rename it Kurt or anything we want to do. Um, but we could also add and subtract from this mask. So if we wanted to add to this mask, we could add with any of the tools, you know, including like a brush. So now I could go in here, make my brush bigger or smaller, um, and I could add all this in. But I could always go back in here and separately say, uh, actually, let's delete that. In addition to this, you can also invert a selection. So if you want to only affect the areas where Kurt wasn't, or your subject wasn't, you can go in here and invert it. So what's really neat is once you have this kind of inverted selection, you could, you know, brighten or darken your background. You know, you could bring this up and down um, or anything like that. But we don't need to do that. We just want to maybe uh, up the clarity on Kurt a little bit or we want to, you know, fill the shadows in here or raise the exposure on him without affecting that white backdrop. Whatever we need to do, we can do it really quickly right now. Now, obviously, with a photo like this one, it's pretty easy to see that, you know, the AI has no problem in picking out Kurt. And you can see it does a pretty good job. I mean, this is, uh, you know, there's no artifacting or anything weird around the edge. It's, it's pretty clean. Um, you know, sometimes you don't see that bleed over. And again, this is a white background. It's kind of, you know, easy to do. So what do we do if we have like a sports photograph like this? Um, what's really nice about this is we can still use that select subject. Now, you're going to see that it's going to have some issues here compared to obviously a nice clean backdrop. And if we were to zoom in here, we should be able to see that there's a little bit of red, you know, in here that's selected. A little bit here and if you find it hard to pick you can actually change the color of your overlay um, like neon green or red you know or white whatever's the easiest for you generally I'm pretty used to this so red works pretty well um, so now we can go in here and refine our mask by adding or subtracting so we could go in here with a brush and subtract out this hand uh, we can go in here and subtract out this back of the shoulder um, so even with this manual painting, I'm doing a lot less than I normally would if I were to try to fix like an entire mask that I'm building by hand by painting. Now I know in Photoshop and other programs it has some of these abilities and obviously that's great. I just love being able to do it right in Lightroom for quick stuff. So I've got a pretty clean mask right now, right? Well now I should be able to invert this and as we can see, I've got this background, which this needs to be inverted as well. Nope. So I should have inverted this first. And now I can go in here and I can add from here. And whoop, right there. Um, and right in here. And right in here. So now I have everything that's not our subject selected here. Um, so now what I can do is I can go quickly darken or brighten that background. Now there are photojournalism ethics here. I wouldn't go too far, but you know, a nice little two tenths or three tenths of a stop like this. I don't have too much of a problem with that ethically. And it could really help you pull something off of that background. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not already follow along over at Brett in real life on Instagram. And I hope you found this helpful.